My name's Peter Lawson, I've been an artist all of my life and I've managed to live uh, from my paintings for all of that time. The life of an artist is, uh, uh, or at least can become quite infinite uh, indeed because uh, like a whole lot of creative uh, things that one takes on, uh, the more you know about it, the, the more you realise you've got to learn. So um, here I am uh, talking to you as a, uh, a complete beginner. As an artist, I would describe myself as a representational painter. In saying that, uh, of course, one always um, looks for uh, something that loosens their work and so I have been regarded over the years in different articles as an impressionist. Let's go right back to the beginning. My parents told me when I was an age of understanding that when my little mates had their toy trucks and their guns and things that I had a pencil in my hand. So my parents, my good parents knew right from when I was a very small child uh, that I had been given a talent and they encouraged that later on in my life with a correspondence art course. Having said that, when I was 11 or 12, my father um, took me out, uh, out west with him. He was a PMG linesman and uh, they had to, in those days, they had to string telephone lines uh, between saplings, desert, desert sticks and stumps. And um, I went with him and, and the uh, reds and purples of the Selwyn Ranges and places like that um, west of here intrigued me. And indeed, um, uh, my father said to me later on in life, uh, Peter, even at that age, um, you said to me, uh, Dad, I'd like to paint this country. Having grown up in Townsville, having schooled here, having crabbed its creek, having uh, fished its waters and having wandered all around this city, I'm basically in love with it all and um, uh, I love iconic uh, Castle Hill, I love the way that it backdrops most of the cities and in fact I've used it as an artist many times to do just that. Uh, our wonderful Mount Stewart out here and many peaks and, and the surrounding mountains of this once upon a time volcano um, have always intrigued me all of my life and even though I've been intrigued in, uh, by many things as I've travelled and, and I've travelled to other countries many times, uh, I've always uh, been sentimental, uh, sentimental about Townsville and always imagined that I would paint around this area for the rest of my life. Well, I certainly do and I, I feel a part of this upcoming celebration of 150 years um, simply because for a lot of my life I've taken it on to visit the archives and JCU here have a, a very good and comprehensive archive and collect old photographs of street scenes of Townsville and uh, some of those are coming up to 150 years now and uh, illustrating them as they were. Horse and carts, women in long gowns, uh, the whole lot. So after doing all of that work on illustrating the history of Townsville, of course I'm very pleased to be a part of uh, our 150th celebrations.
I was aware, of course, um, when I was very young that uh, Henry Lawson was um, the brother of my um, grandfather, my father's father. So, um, of course, um, as, as a fairly young boy, I became uh, aware and even became quite fond of his stories and his poems. So, by the time I was about 19 or 20, I became interested in illustrating um, uh, the, the writings of my uh, great uncle, Henry Lawson. And I went ahead with that to some success because um, publishers then saw it important that they publish um, books that I had illustrated of Lawson's work simply because we were related. One of the very earliest things that Dennis Hardy said to me, and I've used it often, and I used it just recently talking to students or talking about students, uh, one of the things he said to me is, uh, as I left his house uh, the afternoon that I told him that I was going to uh, paint um, for a living professionally, uh, as I, I remember walking down his front steps and he said, keep your palette wet, Peter. So um, I, I, he was important to me in that sense. And then, of course, um, we went on to illustrate books together, both, in, both on uh, Charters Towers and Ravenswood. And, and I became, like Dennis did, uh, very interested in, in the era of the Gold Rush days. And um, I started illustrating that these towns and these uh, things that were pertinent to the Gold Rush era. I have a bit of a soft spot for pioneering days and I've worked uh, with that era a lot. But in the long run, it's not the era or the person or the, the incident or, or event that's happening or even the view or the scene. It becomes something that touches you deeply regardless of what type of object that is. But I think my real love these days is um, painting on location from life, um, uh, admiring creation, uh, representing it as best as I can and uh, interpreting it so that people can understand it. So as far as, you know, I mean often people ask you what do you really like to paint? Well. Everything I've ever painted, I enjoyed painting, even if I made a flop of some of them. A very close friend of mine, but I don't think that painting will ever be shown. <laughs> However, all are interesting in their own way. But it occurs to me that it's not that I look for a particular character when I'm looking to paint a portrait, it's the differences in people that really intrigue me as an artist and I think that goes for photographers and, and other artists too. It's the difference in that person that makes them an interesting subject. Uh, subjects really choose me rather than me choosing them. They appeal to me for different reasons. And after a long time painting, you realise that you are surrounded all of the time by subjects. And so you choose what touches you as an individual most. Then I believe you're working within your purpose.
the styles of my painting change drastically over the years. When I first started painting, um, I realised that I was um, uh, staying within uh, boundaries um, uh, because of what I didn't know about uh, painting. Um, nowadays things are different, but because as you broaden your experience, I suppose in anything that you're involved in in life, your broadening experience also broadens um, the levels of your styles and the appreciation of, of what you can and cannot do. And of course, as you get older, um, uh, that, that, um, that containment of your creativity just grows bigger and bigger and bigger until um, you feel sometimes that you're totally uncontained. Over some 50 years of painting, of course you do a lot of work, thousands of paintings indeed, and thankfully a whole lot of people out there have collected that work over the years. I only have so much work here, so all of the other work has obviously gone out into the mar onto the marketplace. Apart from that, I've often been committed or chosen uh, to illustrate a book where there's a collection of paintings involved and those collections have been then bought by patrons and in a lot of cases those patrons have given those collections to institutions uh, consequently the Townsville City Council uh, and the Townsville Hospital to name a couple of them have large collections of my work. This retrospective of my work is a culmination, of course, of, of all of my thoughts and all of my uh, endeavours in, in my art over all of those years. And uh, so in that sense, I think um, this um, exhibition is my most important exhibition ever. And um, I hope uh, that people um, uh, appreciate or at least I hope that people like what I've done and like what uh, this wonderful gallery and their staff have put together for me. <laughs>